talking about just then, a lot of them on the back, back side. What's it been like mixing and masking uh, pieces throughout the season? Man, it's, it's, it's fun. I think uh, Coach Smith does a great job. Like, we're always preaching next man up mentality. So uh, for some of these young guys to get that opportunity, you know, it's not just coach speak anymore. It, it, it's, it's, it's coming out to, to fruition. Um, and so I think it's a great opportunity. I think, uh, you know, across the board, uh, defensively, offensively, uh, special teams, guys have been able to just plug in holes and, hey, next man up and uh, been able to have success. So it's been a lot of fun to see it play out on a week-in, week-out basis. Um, you know, so far a bunch of freshmen have really played a lot. Uh, Jerma, Jordan, Noble, uh, what have you seen from him on tape so far? Yeah, I think they do. I think they do a good job. You know, they're 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 young, they're hungry, they want to be right, they want to compete, and so uh, yeah, just having them out there, them getting the reps, them competing, it's awesome. You know, obviously, uh, right now, short term, you know, there's there's a certain standard that they got to be able to play at, and they've accepted, they've embraced, and I think they've done a good job of upholding that standard. But I think long term, like it's it's a tremendous opportunity for them, just for their growth, their development, to get thrown in the fire right now, um, and just hey, you got to go, you got to go, uh, your time's now. Um, and so it's 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 an awesome opportunity for them. I think they've done a great job handling it. Um, and yeah, I think long term is, is 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 huge just for their overall development as players. What's the next step for the secondary? Man, we're just trying to be one and zero every week. I'm trying to be one and zero uh, every week, every rep. You know, if 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 I'm on the grass, I got to find a way to make the play. I have to find a way to make the play. It's, it's no excuses, no explanations. If 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 ball's in the air, I got to find a way to come down with it. If it's my turn to make a tackle, I got to make the tackle. So I think just being able to carry that mindset, play in, play out, not just on Saturdays, but during the week on on a Tuesday practice, Wednesday practice, Thursday practice. Um, when that moment comes and it's time for me to make the play, can I make the play? And so the the the, the next step, I don't, I don't know if it's the next step. It's just you got to keep chasing that. You got to keep chasing that. It's not ever going to be perfect, but we got to make it as close to perf perfect as we possibly can. And so it's just a mentality that every time I'm on the grass, every time I show up, every time I'm in between those white lines, I have to be able to make the play, and I got to do anything and everything within my power to prepare to win in those moments. What are some of the challenges that Stanford poses for you guys? I think Stanford does a great job. Uh, Scheme-wise, they, 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 they do a really good job of uh, a little bit unique in, in how they attack. I think they do a good job week in, week out in game planning to attack uh, how, however they think they can attack you. So every week it's a little bit different. Um, so, so you, you got you to gotta prepare for everything, understanding. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're going to see some on tape that they feel they can exploit, and you got to make sure that you're sound in what you do uh, so that you're, 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 you're good with however they come out to attack you. I think, uh, you know, from an offensive standpoint, I think the quarterbacks, both of them, do a really good job. I think they, they both uh, create issues just with their ability to run the ball. Uh, I think they do a good job in the pass game. I think their receivers, uh, I mean, you, you, you've seen the stats. Um, they've got some good receivers, and, and one of them, he has the ability to take over an entire game. So you got to be able to, 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 to handle that as well, and they got good backs. Um, they, they do a really good job. They do a really good job. Um, we're excited for the opportunity. The D-line's been putting a lot of pressure on quarterbacks getting after them so far this year. How in sync is this secondary with that front seven right now and, you know, helping them force turnovers on the back end? Yeah, I mean, de defense is, is successful when you have all 11 guys doing their job. Uh, we talk about all the time being on fire for our work. Uh, you know, you can't have, you can't be good in the back end if you're not good up front. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm a firm believer that, like, yeah, our, our, any success that we have in the back end is, is related to what everybody else is doing in front of us. Um, our, our defense line, they've done a tremendous job. Uh, we've been able to, to, to affect the quarterback, whether it's sacks, getting them off the spot, making them pull down, get their eyes down. Uh, we, we've been able to do a tremendous job as a defense in that. Um, and, and that obviously that, that, that's going to help the back end anytime you can get that done. So, yeah, as a secondary coach, I appreciate that.